Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to today's Bitcoin update for Sunday 19th of June. Uh, the market it has been crazy from, from the last time that I actually left you with an update. Uh, we've, we saw Bitcoin basically uh, going even further more down to $17,500. Now that was even expected uh, a very long time ago, but you have a little bit of a reversal pattern right now on the 4 hour time frame. So uh, place a big stop loss down here near the 17609 because uh, on a four hour time frame you've almost put a you know a bullish engulfing candlestick right here and that actually does mean a little bit of reversal is going to happen and it does make sense the reason why it does make sense is because when you make a bullish reversal pattern near the week days when monday is very near tomorrow is monday such a dead dirty work has already played out but sunday still is here and uh, we can still not trust Sunday. Sometimes we can also not trust Monday as well. It starts from Tuesday, potentially Wednesday, and Thursdays are some really nice good days to trade. So uh, let's see what happens, but I, uh, I'm really trying to figure out what are we gonna do. So let's get into it. Let's get our hands dirty right now. So here we are. And uh, you know, first of all, this uh, the thing to talk about let me bring in a, a, a much more uh, clear chart here this one i guess okay so we do have that one and let, ladies and gents this is what we're looking for and in my opinion there is a target here that i actually did mark you can even say that this is some sort of a descending triangle and bitcoin still is looking to come down to 16,600 somehow down the road okay so but that's not what I want to talk about what I want to talk about is the talk of so many people uh, who actually say that $13,000 uh, sorry $19,000 is what Bitcoin might have as a big support moving forward unfortunately what you see here is a loss of support so if I actually do uh, you know bring up Bitcoin like this it's a very simple thing <clears throat> this was your previous all-time high back in 2017 you do have 2017 number two is you have 13 November 2020 when there was a huge break of that all-time high and then you went parabolic you made a huge parabolic move all the way to uh, probably sixty four thousand dollars that's another story the thing here is there's a little bit of an issue and i just want to address that issue before we move into anything else just like you lost the support at this area right and then you start to drop to the downside is the same way you're losing support here of the previous all-time high resistance there and one resistance here and now again it's turning into a resistance at the current situation and the current time I hope I get myself clear and what I mean is I'm gonna zoom at this place boom when I've already zoomed here and you can see one touch two touch resistance one for the bear market all the way down to three thousand dollars number one number two is today's gonna be a very interesting video so uh we're gonna talk about the details of this one and resistance uh number two here is if i zoom in there look how many t touches you had one two some few touches and then broke it and then boom went to the upside okay so that was something uh that we were looking for in bitcoin at the current now currently what is happening guys boom you lost the trend line and you can see this line actually is so perfect that the previous candle which was yesterday's candle actually came and closed near the eighteen thousand eight hundred thirty seven dollars and you can see it was touching the line itself do you see that if I actually do make a replay over there somewhere here you can see that this was yesterday's candle and it actually came and bounced off the support so that means today is quite important today is really really important because that's where you have the next candlestick and you can see the next candlestick it's trying to close below the line itself and that actually has eight hours 30 more minutes probably to close the daily candlestick and once we close the daily candlestick 
we need answers we really need answers if you're gonna close like this below that line then bitcoin is probably gonna have to go lower unless we don't really do something and go above this level backtest it and hold it and probably hold the level to go to the upside it can happen it can happen of course it can happen but if you do end up closing down here at seventeen thousand or eighteen thousand dollars today then you're putting in another continuation pattern known as a three black crows right you put in three black crows you go a little bit higher and then get rejected and still continue to go to the downside and that means that bitcoin will probably be looking uh, to go down to thirteen thousand dollars just just like i would be telling people and one more thing um even on the signals i've been telling people this was posted in 16 of june and today is 19. Uh, there was a stop loss that was taken with the one percent loss i guess avoid trading for the next three days i told those guys to, uh, for, for the next three days i keep them reminding that guys still hold usdt so if you're still interested in signals yeah you can join we have 12 more days for closing the entries so yeah 12 you have the whole june and uh, it's up and running right now anyways the subject really here is that i want to see today how we are going to close today is that bullish engulfing candlestick going to help bitcoin cross this level then that's a very good sign that probably you're looking for bitcoin to go a little bit back up and if you were to go back up all you will do is go back up to the emas probably or if you move sideways like this then the emas might drop down themselves and keep push pushing the price to the downside anyway one thing is very clear you are really overextended from the emas if you do go a little bit higher before going lower that will still make sense that will still make sense but it's better to actually have uh patience and actually keep a keen eye on what bitcoin has to do on a daily time frame today on a sunday can it close like this then probably next week is going to be red i don't know but something still tells me that bitcoin is still looking to drop to the downside i don't really i'm really not convinced with what bitcoin is put in already i don't think that bitcoin right now is in the mood to you know push itself to the upside there are still pending results to go to the downside i'm gonna actually take an idea from usd t dominance because if this one is gonna get bullish now dominance itself has a little bit of a pending target right here to 9.3 9.83 and i actually gave this a very uh, update a very long time ago that it's broken out of this place a cup and handle and you're looking to come up here to the 9.3 so yes bitcoin has a little bit of a downtrend left because when tether goes up bitcoin goes down i am expecting that tether goes up to this place 9.83 find resistance up here make a little bit of push to the downside because it has already been ex overextended from the emas come down and maybe retrace a little bit down and then bitcoin starts to move upside as well and that's it for today's update i'm going to see you in the next one Allah Hafiz.